Hi guys, it's Cody with Technology Island, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Android 4.4 Launcher from the Nexus 5 on Samsung Galaxy S4, Samsung Galaxy Note 2, and Asus Nexus 7, which I do not have right here with me. But both of these are compatible with it. This one is prepared to be updated. All I have to do is install three apps to this one. This one is already running it. As you can tell, it runs very smoothly. It runs way better than TouchWiz. Don't ever worry about TouchWiz not working again. Okay, Google. Who's the best person ever? And it does work. This is still top like TouchWiz. Everything's there. Just keep watching to find out more. The only issue I have been noticing is with uh, Google Search. So, keep watching. Thanks. Okay, so here we have my Verizon Samsung Galaxy Note 2. And I will be showing you how to install this launcher, the Android 4.4 KitKat, you don't have, have all that, on to any cellular device. It's going to work best on any phone 5 inches or above. 5 inches or above will be the best amount just because the Nexus 5 is a 5 inch device. The S4 it works very well on, and that's because the S4 is a 5 inch device, but you do not have OK Google. That feature does not work. But I had noticed that on my Note 2 it does. Now to tell you about some of the features, the new Hangouts application will have SMS, and the files you will need are Email Google APK, pre-built GMS Core APK. Calendar Google APK, Desk Clock Google AP. I'll just post all these in the description. They will be on Mediafire. So be sure to check that out. They are wonderful, and they w they are pretty much most of these are required to have Android 4.4 KitKat. So, without further ado, here we go. Start by installing. Let's see if you can open multiples at once. Nope. Okay. You're going to want to ins press the email, install. First of all, you have to go into the My Files browser, depending on what phone you have. And just keep going through and pressing the install until all of them have been installed. This Google Play Services is 4.0. I don't know the exact number. It's 4.0. something. Calendar Google APK. And they, I haven't really played around with all of these. I explained some of them. That one will not work on the Note 2, but it does work on the S4. Okay, so now we're in the S4. There it is. This one right here. Stock Android Clock app. Won't work on the Note 2 at this point. I don't know how it will on the Note 3. I do not have a Note 3 in hand. So we have that. Google Camera. And this one has the issue with no... Um, panora 360 panoramic or panoramas. I think that it will still record video. Let me just check on that while we're installing these other apps. Yes, you still do have video recording. There you go. There's your front view. Good lord. It's not very good quality. I would suggest still using your stock camera app just because the Google one will not work very well, but they're, they're pretty good. 
I keep most of these apps installed. I uninstalled all of them just to show you all this. And I know I skipped one, but you will have to have the Google search. Google search will require Google services. So I would just install all of the ones that look necessary, which pretty much are pre-built GMS core, uh, the I would go ahead and install the Gmail 2, Velvet, Google Home, Hangouts, and I think that's all that you will need. You, I mean, you don't need the Google keyboard, it's not a necessity. But it's always nice to have it. Now we will, now we need the Hangouts APK, it is already installed. This will enable SMS through Hangouts, not through your default messaging. So if you turn on the Hangouts SMS feature, you will no longer receive the notification through the normal SMS app, which in my case is messaging. I don't know what other apps you have. It might be any other app you have. So now without further ado, everything is installed and it automatically opens this for me. There's the Google camera, and it looks absolutely horrible on the note. OK, Google. And there's your OK, Google now, which was only available on the Nexus 5. But thanks to the people over at Parano... Parano... Whatever, Parandroid. They have gotten... They ripped all these out of the... What's it? Recovery file. And you have stock Android 4.4 on your home screen. You can hold right there, change your wallpaper. You can change it to these. And as you can tell, OK Google. No OK Google works on mine as four. But before we're gone, I want to see if I can get it to work just by reinstalling the Velvet. Where is it? There it is, velvet.apk. Install. But the Note 2 does not have a Google processor or a Snapdragon processor, so the Snapdragon 800 is what is required to do that, but this has an Exynos. Okay, Google. And as you can tell, the Note's the only one that will do it. Swipe to the side. Here's a map of Michigan. Nope, I didn't want Michigan. Okay. Google. Okay, Google. There you go. So guys, if you liked this video and Android 4.4, please like this video and subscribe down below. Please also put your put down in the comments what you liked best about this video. And if you, this worked for you, if this has any issues, tell me what device you have. And if it is the Nexus 7, I cannot help you, or at least the 2013. I might be able to help you with the original Nexus 7. Put all those issues you have down below. Besides the camera ones and everyone that I told you about in this video or the previous video because everyone's going to know about that. So guys, thanks for watching. Bye.